There seemed to be no doubt that this was the time for Pete Rose, and some were very glad of it. I hope he gets ahead on the first time up, so release my tension. I told her I'm going to have a heart attack. The fans at Riverfront were ready to burst at the seams. They were ready to explode when he finally came to bat in the first inning. Again, the fans left their seats and they stood, hoping to get a good look at history. Pete's mom took a deep breath and watched with 50,000 others. One ball and no strikes. Rose swinging and fouling it straight back. And again, the flash bulbs go off all over the ballpark. Last night, the first time I have ever seen that in a baseball stadium. The 1-1 one, one coming, and Rose takes it inside. He levels it bat a couple of times. Shao kicks and he fires. Rose swings. There it is! There it is! Get out! Get out! All right! Hit number 41-92. The moment was overwhelming. Pete's brother David put his arms around his mother. They embraced and cried for the next several minutes. The Reds players came out of the dugout. They hoisted their hero manager onto their shoulders. And there was a love affair at Riverfront Stadium between those in the stands and number 14, who had just conquered one of baseball's greatest records. Owner Marge Schott came out, hugged Rose, and presented him with a new Corvette, license number 4192, of course. While the Padres sat and waited, the stadium shouted, cried, and clapped. Finally, the moment got the best of Rose. He had to brush back a tear. He looked to Tommy Helms for support. And then his son, Petey, raced out of the dugout and hugged his dad in a very touching moment. It was something everyone was feeling. How can you not be emotional? I mean, people that, that just their fans were emotional, so why shouldn't he? I think it's, I think it's very, I'm glad he got emotional. It's right to the heart. It was the hit literally heard around the world. And it was a typical Pete Rose hit, going with a pitch, hitting it solidly, a clean hit. Were you glad it was a clean hit? No doubt about it, John. I'm probably the happiest guy in the uh, stadium. I was just so thrilled that it was something that was clean that everybody knew right away it was a hit, so they didn't have to wait for a decision. I think it's the biggest thrill I've ever had. And uh, as big as you thought it would be, I think it was bigger. It was bigger than most people and probably even Pete Rose had figured. The fans said thanks for waiting, then they said thanks for the memories. It's one memory Cincinnati will never forget.